What's going on y'all? VNNCZ3 here, and welcome back to a new Magic Arena video. And what we have in front of us is not your typical Turbo Fog deck. In fact, what I've done, Scoobs, is I've used the power of the internet to look at the different successful types of Turbo Fog decks that are out there, and I've used that information to help me better metagame in Magic Arena. And if you're looking for the complete deck list, then check the description below. There'll be a deck list link to Aetherhub, as well as a typed up version so that you can highlight it, copy it, and directly import it into Magic arena and i feel like turbo fog is more of a well-known deck so i'm not going to really beat a dead horse and go over the deck but if you have any questions comments or concerns then let me know in the comment section i'll be more than happy to reply back to those and as always thanks for spending some of your quality time to come hang out with me and enjoy the gameplay Ooh, okay so one two into charter course okay yeah we'll keep it Seems like a pretty good hand. We can go turn one, island, and we gotta say hello. Chart of course. Discard a card? Uh, I don't think we're gonna need the, the scattered grow, so we'll discard that. My opponent should know by now that I'm on a, uh, a turbo fog list. Ooh, we're going against zombies. All right, let's go. Interland. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have discarded that. We'll pass our turn. We're gonna we're gonna look for a land basically. If we can get like a land plus a fog effect, we're in really good shape here. So some zombies it is. All right, let's glimmer. Uh, I'm gonna put both these to the bottom. I think we really do need a fog effect. And, I mean, it's not like we're not running 26 lands in the deck, so... Yeah, there we go. We got our fog. Alright, let's go. And never punished. Never punished. Teferi! Sorry, I'm late. Hold gonna draw a card. We'll keep enough mana up for Haze of Pollen. And then we're going to go... Ah, uh, too bad you can't zed your way out of that. Oh well. So, my Teferi might eat a Veraska's Contempt, and it's not the end of the world if it does. I mean, I've got a backup in my hand. My opponent probably has a Liliana's Mastery, is what my guess is. Yeah, I don't think he would be making this attack if he had a... I just don't think he'd be making this attack if he had, a, like, a Veraska's Contempt in his hand. I mean, or maybe just trying to get it down for the cheap. Uh, I probably wouldn't make that play, though. Oh, man. My opponent's pretty much dead now, I believe. Keep up Let's go. Pace. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, nope. We've got to go like this. And the turn. Yeah, it doesn't matter how we tap it. We're going to take an extra turn now. I'm going to make sure I put a stop at the end of my turn, though. Just like so. Alright, give me a land. A land would actually be pretty dope here. You know what? I'm not done yet. Glimmer's not bad. Alright, two, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we still don't have enough. I'm actually going to chart a course here. Try to get through the most mo most of our deck. Try to get through the most of our deck here. Discard a card. Uh, we can discard to fairy if we want to, but kind of don't want to. I think we're going to have to, though. Yeah, we'll discard that. Play our land. One, two, three. Enchant our forest. Gonna give us seven exactly. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna resolve. Untap this, untap that. Take an extra turn. My opponent might just concede. I mean, I've already taken two extra turns. That's what I figured. <laughs> yeah, 
600 gold. Uh, it should really be 500 gold, in my opinion. It really should be. I, don't, I couldn't agree with 600 gold because realistically, you know, you're you're saying, look, use your daily, you know, for an entry fee. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know if I can agree with that or get behind that. What are my opponents thinking here? Hmm. Do I keep the the three mountains plus like two Beaumont couriers plus, you know, all this other Nani? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, hey, Lance. We'll keep it. I mean, because look, that's the majority of the land out of the deck. Well, I shouldn't say the majority. It's a uh, it's like a third of the land all the way out of the deck. So we'll go turn one, Island Glacial Fortress. Okay. All right, all right. Island Glacial Fortress, pass. And now we're just gonna start cycling these lands out that we just don't need. My opponent might just beat me to the punch though. Pirate Tribal, seems pretty good, I mean. That plus one, plus one until end of turn for each other attacking pirate could be very troublesome. They're probably thinking I have an essence scatter in my hand, so they're thinking, what can I debated? What can I bait out of my opponent's hand? I'm like, I'm, I'm not playing any counter spells, bro. <laughs> you can have it. I'm not playing any counter spells, so. He's going to start making tokens here, but he has to pay two to make it. Which is fine. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Another send pedal? Okay. Uh, we'll go Hinterland Harbor. Plus a sun pedal? Yeah, it's fine. How about the 21? Getting two lands per turn, it's really good, especially with this Teferi. What we really need to draw is uh, as a fog type of effect, is what we really do need to draw. Yep, you can make your token. Seems really good. I'd be for emptying out my hand, though, if it was me and I was this guy. The pirates are pretty good. Like, don't get me wrong, but... I, did, I just feel like I would be wanting to contribute more to the board than just tokens. Alright, so... We can play Teferi. And we can play our Charter Course. Let's go Charter Course first. Discarding... All right, so I'm not under any, like, serious duress, so I might just go Glimmer of Genius instead. Re play Nisa. Nah. Well, Glimmer of Genius instead. Um, I, I just don't want to play the Teferi on a, on a close, like, on a, you know, without any fogs or anything like that. I'm kind of, like, out of words here. That's crazy that they hide the people's ranks like this. That's crazy. Yeah. They're committed to making those tokens. Let's go. Yep. Resolve it. We're going to Glimmer of Genius here. Oh, a subtle is absolutely backbreaking. We'll go like that. We'll keep those two at top. Well, we'll keep one top, one bottom. And a Nexus of Fate. That's pretty much GG, I would imagine. One, two, Teferi. Draw a card? My opponent's about to have like an empty board here. And a turn. Let's untap this land and this land. Yep. Now, my opponent's probably not going to play around Settle the Wreckage. If they have a Duress, I still have a Root Snare just in case. 
Uh, so they're not going to play around instead of the wreckage. Okay. Let's go ahead and just settle. Sure. Nothing you can do at this point, my good sir. They all get exiled. So even if he had that one pirate, or I think it's a pirate, that comes into play on a flash that saves all destroyed creatures this turn, this is an exiling effect. It doesn't save them. And so he's thinking to himself, how can I How can I get out of this? Vraska's Contempt. Nope. I'm just going to ramp you up, my good sir, so you can play whatever you want to in your hand. But I don't know if you're going to get an additional turn after this one. Because I'm going to go my turn, Nisa, Scry 2, Teferi, take an extra turn... Um, and then just rinse repeat basically. So I'm looking at a total of one for the draw, two for the Nisa, one from Teferi. So I'm looking at four cards per turn. It's a really good, really, really good. And that's why I like Nisa way more than Karn, because sometimes Karn pulls up with like two Nexus of Fates and you I mean, or like a Nexus of Fate in the land, and then they just kill your Karn afterwards. So you're out a Nexus of Fate. That's why I just don't like I don't like Karn that much. I really don't. She's pretty good. She could actually close the game. I would look for a second Forerunner. If it was me and I was this guy, I would look for a second Forerunner just because um, you would get the trigger twice on the stack. And it can look for itself as well, right? Because it says, look look for... Yep, there you go. Yeah, that's a good choice. Very nice. All right, I'll lose life. Oh, my God. This is not even fair. This is not even fair. Like, what? Yeah, this is literally game over. I'm going to exile my Gift of Paradise. One, two, three. So I'll have four lands. I'm trying to figure out how, what's the cheapest I can play Nisa for. And I think I'm just going to play her for one. Even if I have mana left over, it's fine. Let me scry two. Actually, let's go like this. And I'll draw them both, because I'll play my land for the turn and draw that. So let's go draw a card. We need to move quickly. Yep, I'll draw them both. Hurry. We'll scry two. The are my reach. Uh Yeah, it doesn't really matter, because I'm just gonna go Nexus of Fate here. They get four lands to untap. Okay, this can resolve first. Actually, let's go... That trigger can resolve first. Put on this land. Go up to 13. Let's go blue, blue, blue. Now this can resolve. Now this will resolve. Untap this one and this one. Six, seven. Take an extra turn. All right, now that's going to resolve, and I'll just untap those two. Now I'll take my turn. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, so how do I want to do this? So the proper way to sequence this is Nexus of Fate first. Scry, and then use Teferi's ability. Uh, I don't need either of those, but I will draw a card. I will draw that land. Lands are pretty good, and then I'm just going to ultimate Teferi and just start exiling cards. Yeah, I don't really... I, I would rather... I'd rather get to Fairy up and out of here, right? Draw a course. Draw two. Exile these two. Discard a card. Uh, yeah, we'll discard the Hinterland Harbors. All right. Boom and boom. And I'll start taking away all of his lands. I should have scried first. All right, though. Search is pretty good. We'll use search. And my land. And a turn. Now I'm going to draw. I'm going to take your swamp out. Boom. And get rid of the out that's possible, like, that he's got, like, a... I don't know. We'll scry to. Commit's pretty good here. Let's go untap two lands. Let's go boom and boom. The land must fight and we'll swing itself. ten in his face. 
<laughs> All right, well, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I was just so... I was making sure that I sequenced everything correctly, that's all. And we'll get our uh, pack here. So let's go ahead and get into this pack opening, shall we? I need the lich, the filigula lich. That's what I need. Give it to me. Of course, it's going to give me something I've got play sets of. Well, anyways, well, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. But y'all know what I'm talking about, though, right? Love peace and chicken grease. Be safe. Thanks for stopping by. To spend some of your quality time. And, uh, yeah, stay classy.